I am a nurse, a healthcare provider, an operating room nurse, took care of a lot of uh, people uh, who had ectopic pregnancies or high-risk pregnancies uh, and cared for them through their delivery or uh, through the loss of their pregnancy and understand uh, understand because I've experienced with the, those women uh, all of the emotion and the risk to their lives that comes with some of the situations that are being described today on the floor. And I do really appreciate the personal stories that people share because I think it brings life to this debate. And as I listen to this debate in particular, uh, what just keeps coming up for me is that this body of elected officials, especially when we think about trying to find a middle ground of compromise when it comes to the very personal private decisions that we make about our bodies, that we would insert ourselves into that decision making, that we would find a political compromise that would be acceptable and insert that into those private decisions that people make when they are faced with difficult decisions, as Senator Mitchell described. I do not believe we should be inserting our judgment as elected officials, as politicians, into the decision that Senator Mitchell described or that of her provider One of the reasons this legislation is so important is it because it creates the legal construct and thus the safety for a person and her provider, a person and their provider to make the right decision for themselves and their body, a private medical decision. That is not a political decision, Senator. Mitchell, as she described her story, was not on bed rest thinking about the politics of what she was facing. And to think that there should be some political compromise made because we're elected officials and we think about polls and polling and messaging, and that should be a substitute for the work of providers and patients, is wrong. I am willing to go with you that this is a difficult decision, and this is a difficult discussion. But when I hear members of this body say, we're going to insert our political decision making in for the decisions of Dr. Mann and her patients, Dr. Morrison and her patients, Dr. Klein and his patients, or Nurse Bolden or myself and our patients, we know better, that's wrong. That's wrong. And so while I appreciate that this can be difficult, let us not pretend that a political middle is any substitute for the judgment of women and their providers as they make these private decisions, and that is what we are protecting with this bill. Thank you.